Have you ever found yourself tangled in the complexities of C++ templates and structured bindings? It can be quite a puzzle, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of perfect forwarding of variables declared with structured binding. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when your code doesn't behave as expected. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar issues when trying to implement perfect forwarding in their structs. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, what is the correct way to return references to the struct members while preserving the value category of the struct passed into the function? This is a common challenge when working with templates and structured bindings. So what's the issue here? The user has a struct and is trying to create a function similar to get for tuples. However, their current implementation always returns an R value reference instead of the expected L value reference. Let's break down what's happening and stick around. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the solution, but also gain insights into structured bindings that can enhance your coding skills. To address the user's issue, we need to modify the implementation of the struct get function. The goal is to ensure that the references to the struct members are preserved based on the value category of the input. First, we will change the way we unpack the struct members. Instead of using structured binding, we can directly access the members using the pointer to member syntax. Next, we will update the return statements to use the correct member access. This will ensure that we return an L value reference when the input is an L value and an R value reference when the input is an R value. Finally, the user should test the updated function with both L value and R value instances of the demo struct to confirm that it behaves as expected. Fun fact, did you know that C++ was originally designed to enhance the C programming language with object-oriented features? Now, it has evolved to include powerful features like templates and structured bindings. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution is proposed using a function called aliasing forward. This function allows for unrelated types in its template and argument, and it conditionally casts the argument to an R value if the template argument is not an L value reference. You can implement this in your struct get function. Instead of using stead forward, use aliasing forward to return the correct reference type based on the value category of the struct. Here's a pro tip. Always remember to check how types are deduced in C++. It can save you a lot of headaches when dealing with templates and structured bindings. And there you have it. You've learned how to correctly return references to struct members while preserving their value categories. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more coding tips and tricks.